Hey all, this is Danny from DEG. Um, I just want to show you a pretty cool feature about uh, Mitchell. Uh, when replacing radiator supports and uh, whatnot, there's always a gray area between what's included and what's not included. So in Mitchell Ultramate, uh, to be exact, we're going to use this as an example. Uh, we're going to go to our front inner structure section right here, and then we're going to uh, select that, you know, if we need to replace a radiator support, uh, we're going to click on the radiator, radiator support. In this case, this is a bolt-on part, and they're going to have some detailed line notes right here of what's included part of the 6.5 hours of um, labor time. So when we go to select and add it on to our estimate, uh, there's also another category right here, which is going to have add to R&R radiator support. And if we click on that, you're going to see some optional items that the vehicle may be equipped with or some labor operations that you may need to perform, um, such as like evacuate and recharge and the recovery of the refrigerant. But some additional things would be if you were to select to R&I, or R and R base model mechanical components. It's going to give you another footnote or detail line note, which states what specifically is that including. So in this case, R and I or R and R of the condenser assembly, the airbag sensor, and the power steering cooler would be added if the vehicle is equipped with those options, and then an additional labor time would be allocated to the estimate. And again, if you the vehicle has with adaptive steering, then you would just select that and then it would allow for the additional labor that would be associated for that vehicle option. So again, the radiator support replacement time is may just be this if, if the vehicle is only equipped with the base model options. Um, if it is an optioned out vehicle and you need to add additional labor, you may want to click on this add to R&R uh, radiator support and then see if there's any additional notes that would be applicable to your repair uh, situation. So I hope this helps you get some clarity that there may be some additional labor operations that are required and again where to see the detailed line notes of what is specifically included with that labor operation. Uh, signing out, have a good one. Bye-bye.